Good morning, Chicago. Uh, uh, sorry, let me flip this my way. I gotta get a better filming setup. Right now I'm just working everything out of my iPhone and it seems to be working fine. I cleaned up the shop a little bit. This used to all be a big, big mess. Uh, I had everything in the middle. It's still a mess, but just much better layout. This is kind of my gym area. A uh, little bit of sport equipment. But the main reason I'm doing the video today, um, besides showing the more organized shop, uh, I bought a new toy. Uh, must need it, much need it. Uh, here's my temporary setup. Uh, this is gonna change. I got a desk that I'm working on. But right now, this seems to be working fine. I literally just grabbed a slab of wood I had, put a clamp on it, and said, this is my desk for now. I took the big table that was here, we just taking a lot of room and I wasn't happy with it. <clears throat> uh, that was a gift from a good friend. And uh, it's an older chair, so I've been putting a treatment on it to kind of get it to look better. This is my old couch from the house, brought it over. I think wife didn't like leather. I love it. I love sitting on leather. It feels so good. But yeah. And uh, scaffold area, more scaffolds over there. Eventually, I'm gonna build racks that are <clears throat> actually maybe not on this side, more towards the back. I'll show you on this wall. They're gonna be racks that are gonna have few levels where I can just true all of my scaffold system in just one wall from top to bottom. Uh, it's gonna be a fun project. I'm also removing all of this plaster out and exposing the brick. You can see some of the brick exposed on this side already. So I know what I have. Um, this came like this, I didn't do anything. It's just the way it came, I moved in and haven't done much. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's big projects for the shop. Essentially, I'm gonna blow open the back and uh, get rid of all those rooms. I don't need any of those rooms and just push everything back a little bit more so I can have more uh, office in the front, shop in the back kind of layout so I can come here. I mean, I got three kids, so they come here and play with me. I can watch them while I'm working. Uh, here is the uh, bike jackets. Uh, that's uh, old weather uh, Cortex jacket, which I kind of never use. This is my to-go jacket. I put that on and I'll use all the time. You can see it's very dirty. This is more like of a leather one. I don't know if this is meant for riding motorcycles, but I love it. F favorite brand, Diesel. Uh, this is the uh, wife's helmet, which I've used in a couple times. Let me get this. Um, because it has a dark lint. I love the dark lint. And that is my beat up helmet. Uh, yeah, cool. So let me show you what uh, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, there you go. Just took a shower, so I still got my hair down and wet. So we bought this two guys. We're gonna unload them in a minute. Uh, they're quite heavy. Yeah, I don't think I can do that one-handed. This one maybe. Oh yeah, this one yes. Huh, let me show you what's inside. Oh. So this is a, uh, show you that upside down. This is a six drawer Harbor Freight US General Toolbox. And uh, this one here is more of a uh, cart that, uh, oh, here you go. Just for general tools, uh, kind of like a working cart where you have to drag it into the car uh, into your work area and do some work or repair but yeah these are gonna be the uh toolboxes that uh are gonna sit permanently in the garage so that's where they're gonna leave lift lift whatever um uh, yeah yeah i hit something there it might have been a garbage can uh telephone pole what we're doing here later um, 
a garage tour is going in here. And uh, I think I'm gonna do this sooner or later because I'm getting water in and I've noticed uh, this coloration on the floor already. So I gotta address that sooner or later. You start taking one of the sheets out, uh, which is this one here. It's gonna wrap this wall up. Yeah, so for now I'm gonna set my two toolboxes right here behind the couch. Uh, probably move this forward and use them as uh, a little coffee area for now. Because what we're doing next, this is gonna happen in the next couple weeks. Uh, we will be refinishing the floors. And this, this is an emotion sensor and I gotta get this fixed too. Everything eventually gets done slowly. So I'm gonna be working here in the next couple of weeks trying to empty this space uh, and shove everything towards the front. Um, a lot of it, it's, uh, this is going away. This is a friend of mine. He asked me if he can store it here. I said, yeah, why not? So that's going away uh, with, uh, I think, two bikes. Uh, where's the bike? There's one and the other one is on the front. It's an e-bike. Actually, this white bike used to be his and we traded it. Uh, I have an e-bike. He had this bike. He's not really riding it anymore. And I love that bike. That is a beast. I think that is, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a 250 Honda. Uh, I don't know the exact details, but it's a beast of a bike. It hasn't run in about a year, so I'll probably have to drain the fuel out of it. Uh, open up, remove the spark plug, pour some oil in there and let it sit for a week and then slowly hand crank it to get the oil to go into the piston lubricate. So if I use cold start right now, I might scratch the piston and then the motors, you know, I just took a few years out of the life of that motor. I don't know the exact, you know, amount, but yeah, I know it's very bad for it. But yeah, a lot of things are getting moved. This I'm holding for a client uh, and I'm gonna reach out to him and ask him whether he needs that delivered somewhere or he needs me to hold it a little bit longer. If he does, then I gotta put it somewhere. Um, all of this eventually is gonna leave in the same corner. This is just leftover scrap metal that I'm gonna use for anything I need to be doing. Uh, this is left from when I built a trailer. Uh, so is this, I'm actually taking this somewhere today. We are, I'm gonna do another video. That's gonna be a longer video. I'm gonna do with a different camera. I'm gonna edit it and put it up. We're actually moving a bunch of machines today. They're like, mm, I don't know the names of the machine, but I know <laughs> the lightest one weighs 2,000 pounds. <sighs> yeah, that's a exciting day. Uh, furnace, I'm repurposing this furnace. I can't remember what job side this one came from, but I'm repurposing this one. I'm repurposing that one. So I'm gonna put those where they need to go. So they're just out of the way. Fridge, that is a older fridge that we we have for like five years and now it's just, uh, it lived his purpose. Uh, ice maker doesn't work, a few things are wrong with it. It's a perfect office fridge where, you know, we're gonna use it in the office once it really dies, then we gotta replace it. But it's still a good working fridge, just not home kind of functionality. Uh, but yeah, so this this I can push to the front for now and later we'll figure out what to do with it. Uh, yeah, so. A uh, lot of junk that just needs to be organized. Everything can go to the front. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing for a couple of weeks. Um, I'll do a separate van video to give an update of where I'm at. I uh, haven't really talked about this. I haven't touched it in the whole winter because I don't have heat in the garage and 
I came here for a couple weeks and I said, no, it's too cold. Uh, you know, yeah. But yeah, um, I'm gonna start again. I'm usually working on that every Sunday from five to about eight o'clock in the morning. And you know, that that is like my relaxing time where nobody calls me or bothers me and I'm just there uh, listening to some videos on YouTube of random information and working on that. Yeah. Yeah, monkey bars. I mean, rings, gymnastic rings. That's what I meant. <laughs> They're fun, very fun. All right, so that's it for now. Um, yeah, so this is where the toolboxes are gonna go. And uh, I got blue toolboxes and the color of the floor is actually gonna be yellow. It's not a by choice, by choice color. But um, the guy who's doing the floor, he is uh, my partner in a company that he owns. I own a small percentage. He owns most of it. And I help him open up the company from the beginning. He, he now grew and now he's got a much bigger business and he wants to buy me out. I said, you know what? If you want to buy me out, buy me out. So um, uh, part of the buyout, he's doing all the floors in the shop, uh, which is about 10,000 10, square feet. And uh, yeah, so he doesn't really have to pay me out of pocket he can you know put his sweat into it uh the, the reason why we're going yellow because it's one of the colors he had available and i said that's fine uh so yeah um i helped him when he needed help and he's gonna help me now that i need help so that's that's the good way to run a business and uh help a friend that uh needs to uh get his his feet started and yeah he's very successful now um, look him up, Alpha Concrete Restoration Inc. And uh, he's been one of my stops for many, many years. The only guy I use for, for restoration on old concrete. And uh, I think what he's gonna do now actually, kind of rename his brand instead of being, uh, having Alpha Concrete Restoration on it, he might do something different like uh, concrete polishing because that's more of his expertise uh, of what he does. It describes his work better. All right, anyways, see you. Bye-bye.